guys, Jay and Nick, and welcome back to Eons of Battle. Recently, we've gotten into Age of Sigmar, and we are right in the middle of critiquing every single Age of Sigmar centerpiece model. If you haven't seen the first video, probably go check that one out, and then you'll be all caught up. But if you don't care about continuity, we are 40k players, but boy oh boy do we have some opinions on the Age of Sigmar models, most specifically the biggest, tallest, and most expensive units available. So sit back and relax as we get back into complimenting and criticizing the Age of Sigmar centerpiece models. Now we're gonna look at the best of the bad guys alphabetically Ooh, in, right. uh, in chaos. Neat. The goat people's goat giant. Gorgon. <laughs> Gorgon. He looks old. Yep. But he looks Def really cool. Yeah. He almost looks Skaven y. Mm hmm. Oh, maybe he's just from that era. That yeah. one era when all the Skaven models came out. Definitely feels old. Definitely oh, feels old. Look at that tush. Yeah. I love all the little skeletons on his yeah, body. Yeah, that's good. He looks very Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Yeah, he does. And it could yeah. be the paint job. It could be the paint job. They, they had a very. It seems like they have a very specific. Yeah. It, that, I think that's probably why he fits in with the Skaven so well, because they look exactly they the same. Do. They Painted do. Painted the same. I, his top arms have been replaced, or his top hands have been replaced with saws, or mm -hmm. claws, which is interesting. Do you think he opted into that, or do you think <laughs> that was done to him? This one's a hard one. I mean, I do like it. I would say, uh, I would say a seven, I maybe. would say a six. I think he's better than average, mm -hmm. but eh, he's okay. I think this his... one would almost be a better one for kit bashing because I feel like he would scave in so well. Yeah. I, the, the reason why I said seven was the face. The face is pretty face good. Is good. I really like the face. Eh. Corn people's bloodthirster, the big red demon. I think this one might be controversial. I don't like it. I feel like I've seen better demons out there. I feel like I've seen better yeah. normal red demons out there. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's, uh, I mean, Bellicor. Bellicor, oh Bellicor is really, really cool. Bellicor is so cool. Jumping over fire. He's a little, his pose is a little dainty. He's yeah. got his two little weapons that he's holding out in front of him. He's kind of doing a little, a little tap, tippity tap dance. Yeah. On one tiny little on fire thing on his base. <laughs> I think the only thing I like is the wings. Yeah, the, cool wings, wings. the wings, the wings are cool. Get the wings for something else. Yeah, the fire is weird. It doesn't he make also, any sense. Like, like, uh, like when you look at like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, mm -hmm. like, uh, the, w the reason he looks good usually is because, you know, you got the legs, the legs spread out mm -hmm. and then the body spread out. And so he feels very balanced. But this guy, he's a he's a yeah. triangle. <laughs> and so he really he kind of grows into his big body. I don't know. I just I think the posing ruins it. Yeah, it'd be maybe it'd be cool if maybe like uh, maybe he comes out of the fire or mm -hmm. something. But maybe he transitions from fire to yeah. demon. That would be pretty they cool. They really, they really should have contacted yeah, us exactly, when they yeah. were designing this. Experts, modelers, and designers. <laughs> 30 years of industry experience. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a four. Mm, I don't really like yeah, it. Yeah, I, I could say four. Yeah, I could agree with that. It's not like bad. It's, like I can't say it's a no. three or a two or anything, no. but. Zinch's big burb. <laughs> Keros, fate weaver. I mean, this mm -hmm. model's just yep. sick. Really, really cool. I've, this model has been around for a long ass time, and it's mm -hmm. it's wonderful. 2017. Mm. At least it's the, eh, at least that's what it's when it titled. I love it. Mm -hmm. No complaints. No Super complaints. cool. This makes me want to collect Zinch. Uh, mm -hmm. Every model in the Zinch yeah. line makes me want to play Zinch, but this model especially, it's wonderful. Uh, it's cool. It's got awesome wings. Mm -hmm. I love the two bird heads. I love the staff that's half uh, half a fireball, half a staff. What do you think is going on with that fingy? I just do. It's going to do some probing. <laughs> what do you think that eye's seeing? <laughs> Ooh. Crotch eye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the bird feet yeah. is super cool. Everything about this model is excellent. Ten. Mm. This yeah, is a ten. ten. I agree. I like the crotch eye. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Slanesh's not safe for work giant. Dexclessa. Dexclessa. Dexclessa, the talon of Slanesh. This mm. model is, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if uh, some of I, I like the um, there's the Slanesh model that has like a, like a big fat guy mm -hmm. in a thing with oh God, I don't know what it's called. It's like a it's like a, it's like a gazebo. It's like a gazebo. <laughs> I, I really like that model. And I feel mm. like that's the model that makes me not care as much about this mm. model. Uh, I, I like them both. I love this mm -hmm. model. This 
this feels like I would see it in an artsy fartsy movie. Yeah. For yeah. way too long. <laughs> like this would show up on screen and it would do a little dance mm-hmm. and the, the colors go a little psychedelic. I really dig this model. I I think the body is weird and mm-hmm. weirdly correct in its proportion, which makes things yeah. like having an extra set of arms look really creepy. Mm-hmm. I love the horns that are like interlocking because it looks so wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the giant peacock plume. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, I think this model is sick. Is it a 10? I, ooh, mm-hmm. interesting. Alternate, alternate, alternate pose. pose. Or alternate, I guess uh, you lose some frills. It's hard. I feel like if, if I say it's a 10, that means like a must buy. And I feel like this is one I can skip on, but that might just be because I don't really care about the other Slanesh models that much. Like mm-hmm. the Demonettes don't excite me that much. Uh, Seekers of Slanesh don't excite me that much. They're good. They're very good models. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say seven. Wow. It's pretty good. I'm gonna say nine. I, I like <laughs> creepy weird stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like the gazebo guy better. Mm. And he's I I like that look. Mm-hmm. It feels more slaneshy. I mean, this does too, but I like the other one better. I think it's a nine. I can't give it a ten because I don't really <laughs> want it. Mm-hmm. But I I love that it exists. Yeah. Like I want the gazebo. I don't want I don't want this one. Nurgle's giant made of horns and buggers. The Glotkin. And I remember seeing this model when uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles End Time was happening. And mm-hmm. I remember it was like it was like amazing because they didn't make models this big back then. <laughs> and now they do. <laughs> yeah, you're bringing up the Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it just Wait. brings it out of me. <laughs> Papa Nurgle entered the room. Oh my god. Oh my, yep. <laughs> And you know what's great is that they're they're not riding on like a little plinth <laughs> yeah. made for them. Yeah, they're just on the they, guy. They climbed up on there. Mm-hmm. And they're going for a little ride, and then they'll hop off and do some damage with a sickle. Mm-hmm. And the bell. Yeah, really dope cool. ass model. But is it a nine or is oh. it a ten? Ooh, it's, <laughs> no, it's no ten. Mm-hmm. It's it might be a nine. Yeah, I would say it's a nine. Yeah, um, a lot of these are getting really high scores. They are. These these ones are really good. Moving on, mm-hmm. the rat people, rat abomination. Oh, good old, good old square base. Oh, and mm-hmm. look at the options. You mm-hmm. get so many options. Oh, if anyone has ever, if anyone out there has seen the Kevin Smith movie Tusk, this is from <laughs> Tusk. Kevin mm-hmm. Smith has seen this model. Ah, <laughs> oh, and it's sixty bucks. Yeah, sixty bucks. I mean, is give me two. Good. Yeah. Oh. It's stitched together. It's gross. There's like rats in it mm-hmm. and coming out of it. Its skull has no eye holes. Yeah. This model is a 10 for me. I want mm-hmm. this model. I don't want to yeah. collect Skaven, but I want this model. Well, as, as someone that has a couple of Skaven, mm. this would fit right in. Oh, it's so gross. It's so <laughs> gross. I love it so much. All right. Chaos Knight's Dragon that can't make up its mind. I don't remember this. Nice. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Archon Everchosen. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Kind of weird. Mm-hmm. I kind of like the guy on top yeah. more than I like the rest wow. of everything else. And I that's like, it's yeah. usually it's the opposite for me. I like this model a lot, but I feel like I like it very clinically. Like it doesn't mm, get it doesn't like it, it doesn't evoke a lot of emotion out of me. But everything I look at on the model, I'm like I enjoy that. Like it all makes sense. I like the yeah I like the Nurgle head, Zinch head, Corn head. Mm-hmm. I like that the, the this is kind of like the chaos undivided faction, and so I mm. like that their their main dragon is like a conglomerate of all the different chaos gods. Um, I like the pose, the jumping. I like the meat on the dragon. Yeah, but I th- yeah, <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it. It all makes sense. Mm-hmm. It all feels right. Everything feels right. Everything works together really it all, well. It, the way it's connected to the base is 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 good. But uh, I don't know. I just don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I I'm just in don't the same care. boat, and I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it's very. I'm sure it's very uh, uh, upsetting. I think it's a solid eight, mm-hmm. but it's a solid eight. But I'm never gonna look at it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like one of those movies. You're like, that was a movie. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Captain America one. <laughs> I like that movie. Seen? I've seen it like once. Mm-hmm. Neat. I hope this is everyone's favorite model, and they're really <laughs> angry right now that we gave it an eight. Yeah. <laughs> It's only pretty good. It's only really good. Yeah. All right, that was it for chaos. 
I feel like chaos. Actually, I feel like chaos was chaos. Yeah. All all Good. winners except for yeah. corn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about corn? Milk for the cornflakes. Complaining about Age of Sigmar models is really fun, but you know what is even better? That's right, our Patreon. If you like the videos we make and you want more, the best way to support us is by becoming a member of our Patreon. Over there you'll get access to some behind the scenes, voting on what models I paint live here on YouTube, a live hobby hangout every week, some terrain STLs, and more. With that said, let's critique some more models that people work really hard on. Mm -hmm. And now it is the last faction. I guess they're not a faction, but a, the last grouping is destruction. Yeah. You know a little bit about destruction. I do. The little goblin's big brother. Yeah. The dank hold Traga. I have this model, so it's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I would be inclined to agree. I think it is also a 10. This is one of my favorite models Games Workshop has made. Wow. Now, this is the variety that I built. Ooh. I built the one with the, uh, hey, the... with the dangling spider, mm. um, because that's the leader. Ah. So that's why I built that one. Um, and I, I, I like it. I like the gross, gushy mm -hmm. I, um, I mean, centipede. What I love about it is it's very fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Like I it could is. see this on the cover of a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. It's so lovely. It's so interesting. I love this model. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Which variety? I think I like this one more. Mm -hmm. I think I like Big Hammer. Mm -hmm. Big Hammer, lots of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool model. But for you, it's a 10. I think for me, it's a nine because I want to disagree. <laughs> Just ever so slightly. Yeah, there you go. And I don't want this model. Mm -hmm. Although it's it's really cool model. Yeah. Like his love is red nose. Do you think his nose is really wet? Oh yeah, like a little gloss on there oh, would, be, yeah. would make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what? You get you get you the water effects. Just a big snot oh, dribble. Yep. Yeah. The frozen giant's big old axe. Ox. 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 Frost Lord <laughs> on Stonehorn. This is a classic model. Looks classic. Uh, <laughs> it's good. It's a good model. Mm -hmm. I feel like the monster is more interesting than the guy. Of course. <laughs> I I weirdly yeah. like the frost giants. Mm -hmm. I think, is that what they're called? Frost Lord? Yeah, the frost giants. I kind of dig them. I think mm -hmm. if they got a cool range refresh, I would be all over them. If they were like the Ice Age themed mm -hmm. army. Uh, I mean, Ice Age is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have a Sid the Sloth plushie. <laughs> but uh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like them too. Yeah, I, and I agree with the with the refresh because mm -hmm. uh, the humanish looking people are not. Yeah, lovely. they're a little rough. And also, this this is a range I feel like that's all over the place. Like some of them feel like Ice Age giants, and the rest of them are regular giants. Mm -hmm. And then they have like named characters who are no longer named. They're just like a cook giant. <laughs> like I don't quite get it. Yeah. I think they they are in need of a range refresh. But I think Games Workshop is onto something with Ice Age giants. Because Ice Age has a lot of really weird and interesting animals. Mm. Like, everybody knows about all the dinosaurs, but there's, like, weird-ass Ice Age mm -hmm. giant sloths and, like, armadillo, like, monstrously-sized armadillos. Mm. Uh, I don't think this is any based off of anything, but no. I guess Woolly Mammoth yeah, a little Wooly bit. Yeah, Woolly Little, yeah. I think, I think this is a uh, eight. I'm say seven. Yeah. <laughs> it's an eight. It's an, I'm feeling eight today. Tomorrow I could feel seven. Yeah. It could go back and forth. Mm -hmm. The Orkies Bowling Ball Dragon. <laughs> it's a weird position that I, the dragon's in. I, I think, like. before we get to the dragon, I think this is the coolest Mega Orc. But I don't like him on this dragon. <laughs> I actually like this dragon. I like, I like this dragon a lot. I like both components separately but uh, i usually don't like gimmicky dragons but i feel like i i like fat dragon and i feel like if uh if he was walking alongside the dragon like they're two peas in a pod you know they're both big fat tough guys i would dig it mm -hmm. but i don't number one i don't believe that five million pound orc in armor <laughs> is riding on top of a dragon yeah well so you're wrong on a, uh, pretty much the whole thing but so I like the uh, Mega Boss, War Boss, something like that. I don't know the fantasy ones. Um, the I like it's the one knob yeah. and Mega Armor. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. They all all the names make sense. Mm -hmm. I like the one that has the uh, um, the cow bone on the shoulder. Oh, the, the dragon the skull. skull. Yeah, the dragon yeah. skull. Yeah, I really, cool. I, I, really I really like that one. 
Um, I think that's the coolest one. Mm. It's way cooler than the Warhammer Plus one. That one's mm. done. Well, yeah, they're, both <laughs> of these are way cooler than the Warhammer Plus one. Yeah, exactly. The Warhammer Plus one is lame. But I like I like the uh, the Dragon Head. But yeah, I mean it's a big old bone ball. I feel like what is going on with the is it King? I, um, I think that's God. What is that? I think it's the fire that's coming out. I think that is tears cloth. That's coming down off of his helmet. I think I don't care at all about the fantasy orcs, but I really dig this model. I think this model is mm. a solid seven for me. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I could say that it's. I, I think th I could say it's a seven. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how easily how well dragons fit into like the mythology of the orcs. I guess now maybe they would be more of a uh, of a cruel boys sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Although this dragon would eat the cruel boys. The cruel yeah. boys only fight, only mess with things that are weaker than them. Yeah, but and the cruel boys have like weird monsters. Yeah, like, I, I don't feel like they have uh, like the little man. <laughs> they don't have. Uh, I feel like a dragon wouldn't really fit in. Mm -hmm. The giantest of the giants, War Stomper Mega Gargant. Good, good model. Just, Just good, good, <laughs> good old giant. Mm -hmm. The giants. I feel like I've said this so many times. The giants are actually the. I guess I, I said I liked the night haunts. Because they're my favorite of the, of the I guess, death. But also, I don't like any of the chaos stuff. But uh, the giants are an army I could actually see getting one day. Because it's like four models. Mm -hmm. And four interesting to paint giant ass mm -hmm. models. And I bet that the play style of this is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I bet it's very different from a normal Age of Sigma army. And super cheap to get into. 195 <laughs> bucks for this model. Hopefully you only need one of these guys. I like that he's very bottom heavy. Because he's wood. Because yeah, he's he a giant. Uh, There's kind of like a... I don't... No, if it's painted on or whatever, there's like a skin texture. I mm -hmm. feel like it's probably part of the model. Um, like, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, it does seem like he's got like some like, folds, kind of like elephant skin. Yeah. It's also nice that they're covering up their junk. Yeah. You know, they're all very thoughtful. It's really funny. It's like, yeah, Age of Sigmar is really, it's a nice fam family friendly game, except, <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, the giants are not safe for work. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe that is, was that the last, it for destruction? We didn't, did we rate him? We didn't rate oh, him. Oh, we didn't rate him. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. I want him. Ten. Ten. And well, uh, that was, that was every single Age of Sigmar centerpiece model. And a lot, a lot of them were rated very highly. Mm -hmm. But if you had to pick the number, well, you can't pick Trogoth. Yeah, I won't pick Trogoth. But if you have to pick an interesting. Oh, goodness. I mean, Lord Croak. Pretty cool. I think, I think the That's model. That's a good one. That's because this is I, I've seen all these models like in passing, but I haven't really really looked at them. And mm -hmm. I feel like the model where I looked at it with like fresh eyes and it absolutely blew me away. It was the lady on a beetle. <laughs> that model. <laughs> That's is pretty good. Sick. Pretty good. I'm going to say black coach. Mm, black coach is a black solid, coach is pretty good. Solid pick. Um, I don't really have that big of an interest in the uh, the death models, but I've seen that one around. Mm -hmm. and that's just a really, really cool model. Mm hmm. Well, but that is our picks for the best Age of Sigmar centerpieces. And let us know in the comments. I'm sure you guys have been rating them along with us. Let us know exactly how wrong we were and how right you were. And now it's time for this week's EOB Complete submissions. We put out a challenge to our community to send us before and after photos of their recently finished models to be immortalized in our videos. If you want to join in the fun, you can submit a before and after photo of your painted mini to our Discord server, which you can find in the description below, or you can post it to Instagram with the hashtag EOBcomplete. Without further ado, let's look at and get inspired by what the folks have finished this week. A Custom Orc Knight by Gazebo, a Troll Blood Pirate Troll by Lex Kill Cannon, a Plague Marine and Friends by That Guy, a Librarian Dreadnought by Ocho, some Tactical Space Marines by Platypus Duke, a Leviathan Dreadnought by Brother Captain Brutus, some Tactical Space Marines by Slender15431, a Space Marine Captain by Bok Bok Baga, a Primary Space Marine by Smug Dylan, a bunch of Tau Drones by Awo Main, an Imperial Guard by Disco, a Redemptor Dreadnought by Stomparoo, some Tyranid Hive Guard by Vidra Joe, a bunch a bunch of Black Templar Space Marines by Darklight88, a little friend by Airship Slice, an Infernal Master by Dare Lennon, some Blade Guard Veterans by Junkheart, some Bomb Tanks by Just Make Stuff, a Gene Sealer Cult Aberrant by Squid Cultist 002, a Fun Bok the Bounty Hunter by Freebooters Merc, an Orc Killican by Towlin Rowney, some Fallout Power Armor by Bob Esponja, a Lizard Man Sorcerer by Or Crypt Jim, a Big Ol' Chaos Space Marine by Mike's 40k Journey, and a Little Gaslands Car by Death Arsenal. Congratulations to everyone for a job well done. It's no small feat to get paint on minis and y'all should feel really proud. 
Nothing gets the hobby juices flowing like finishing a project and we all thank you for sharing your work, motivating us and the hobby community to paint our plastic. Thanks for sharing.